go AHF for? I didn't know what to expect. I've never seen a launch before. Once you get to see uh, what it all goes to, like we did today, uh, then it's then it really uh, it's really worth it in the end. Nine, eight, seven. It's pretty cool to see the fruits of your labor finally and uh, see AHF four take off. I've never seen the satellite before, so it's an awesome time. And the Air Force is just so committed to the mission. This is such an important mission for the nation. This. This system allows our, our nation's leaders to communicate in the most stressed times, and the Air Force is so focused on, on serving that mission successfully. It's just great team, teammate to work with. Working with the Air Force has been amazing. The PEOs and the, the folks that come out of SMC, they really, we sit shoulder to shoulder and we solve problems and we, we work these issues until it all culminates in a day like today where we're going to watch it go up in space and be deployed for the warfighter. The AHF system is our uh, strategic communication satellite, so it's, it's really an uh, important uh, warfighting asset. It's required whenever we really go to war as a nation. It probably uh, ranks up there as one of our most important satellites. Uh, we spend a lot of time getting a launch ready for it. Uh, we are very careful to make sure that we get it to orbit with as much fuel as possible. Nine. Eight, this was an Atlas 551. That means six, it has five solids. Five, it leaves the four, ground really quickly. Three. We have ignition. It was really bright. It went very fast. It went very loud. And liftoff of the AEHF-4 mission carried by United Launch Alliance Atlas V. It's, it's an exciting launch to watch and uh, an exciting launch to do, and uh, we're glad it's out.